Don't be that dude. Welcome to Bible Made Elementary. Hey, what are the two things that are the most important to God? Yeah, and if you're new to this channel, it's to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Today we're talking about why you don't want to be that guy. You know, you might have seen these guys before. They're people that go out in the street and they tell people that they are not holy and that they're sinners and that they are going to H-E double hockey sticks. I don't, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure it's not good. Why do I think you shouldn't be that guy? Number one, does it follow the two rules that are the most important? It might be considered something that follows rule number one and two, kind of, but it's not really. You see, some people might argue that me standing out telling people that they're sinners is doing the loving thing to let people know that they're sinners. But is that something Jesus did? Nope. Actually, he often did it to the people that were acting like that guy on the street. You see, the Pharisees and the Sadducees would go around and they would tell people, you're not following the law well enough. You're evil. You're bad. You're not doing the right thing. But that's something Jesus never did. In fact, Jesus went around and he became friends with people that he had big disagreements with. There was Zacchaeus, this guy who stole all this money from people, and he said, you know what, why don't you come down here, and I'm going to your house, and we're going to eat, and we're going to hang out together. There was a woman at the well that he had a big disagreement with. There were all of these people that he disagreed with, and in fact, the Pharisees and Sadducees said, you know that Jesus guy, he's a big sinner. He goes and eats with sinners. And Jesus was like, no, I'm hanging out with these people to help them get closer to God. You see, I'm being a friend first before I can tell them all that other stuff. Friends are people that you spend time and you invest in and you love on and you care about them and you want the best thing for them. But when you're just standing out in the street and telling people that they're wrong, you're not investing in them. You're just trying to make them feel bad to correct behavior. But that's not what Jesus had in mind because Jesus is all about loving your neighbor as yourself. So what would I want someone to do? I wouldn't want someone to be my friend, to have dinner with me, to talk with me, to be in my life before they said anything about the way I was living. They have to know what's going on in my life to be able to talk about the stuff in my life. And oftentimes Jesus would get approached by these guys and they would be like, Jesus, you know this person's a sinner, right? And Jesus would be like, listen, you might be right, but also these are all the ways that you're not living right as well. And so maybe you need to correct yourself because if you know about the Bible and you know about God, you know that God's word is about loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and loving your neighbor as yourself. Even the Old Testament was all about that. And so Jesus said, if you are not living out the most basic principle of this, then you are not following God and you have no room to comment on someone else's life. So I want to encourage you to be like Jesus who would go and he would live with people and be in their lives, in the messiness of their lives, and love them no matter what. Be like Jesus. Hey, thanks for checking out the video today. I know it's a little controversial, but if you have some questions, comments, concerns, you can always leave them in the comments below and let's talk about it. Thanks for checking out Bible Made Elementary today. I will see you later.